Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Domestic Tech Guy is back here for you. Last time, we looked at how to use a TV as a desktop monitor. And today, we are going to look at how to connect a DSTV decoder onto a TV. It's an HDMI cable. So these are the components we are going to need. So we can begin. Uh, first of all, we are going to need a DSTV decoder itself. This is our DSTV decoder. This is our TV screen, and we are going to need a remote. This is the remote to control the DSTV decoder, and this remote is going to control our TV. We're also going to need an HDMI cable, and of course, we have to need the power cables. These are the ones to power on our screen and our decoder. So, this is the power cable for the DSTV decoder. And this is the power cable for our TV. So this is the extension cable. This is just going to help us to connect different power, like to take power to different, to our DSTV decoder and our TV. So we are going to first connect. We are first going to connect the power cable so in our connection, I had already said that this is our DSTV decoder. So we are going, obviously, for it to work, it needs power. So we are going to connect this cable. It's called a power cable, but it's used to power the DSTV decoder. So we are going to plug it in on this port. It's written on power in, and it takes in 12 volts. So we are also going to connect our input. We need, as I already said, that our input is HDMI. So we are going to use this HDMI cable. We are going to connect our HDMI cable on HDMI port. This is the HDMI port. So we connect it in here. So we are going to connect in this RF cable. The RF cable, this RF cable is coming from the DSTV dish. So we are going to connect it here on this port. So you connect it and you tilt this like for it to get tighter. I'm going to go to the TV. So on the TV, we are going to connect the HDMI. This is the HDMI input, like HDMI cable to the HDMI port of the TV. Then we are also going to connect the power cable of the TV. This is the power cable. Okay. Uh, so next, we are going to connect this HDMI cable from the decoder onto the HDMI port. It's written on HDMI port on of the TV. So we plug it. So this power cable, we are going to connect it on the power port. This is where there is AC in on the power port of the TV. So after connecting our, after connecting the HDMI input in the decoder, and then we connect it to the TV, we need power. So this is the extension cable. We are going to plug it in in our socket. Then we bring all these cables. We have the power cable from the TV. We are going to connect it here. Then we also have the power cable of the DSTV decoder. So we also connect it there. So after all this, we are going to power our components, like we are going to power on our DSTV decoder and our TV to see whether they are working. So we switch on and we are going to now, then we are also now going to use the rest of the we are going to be using our remotes. So, when, so obviously for our TV, we are going to press this button, this power button here. So our TV is on. Then also use a remote to put on our DSTV. So now, since we are using HDMI cable, it means that our input is HDMI. So we are going to go on our, TV, on our remote. We look for input. We are going to look for this button. It's written on input. So the input we are going to use is HDMI since we are using an HDMI cable. So we are going to go on our input, on 
order input, we press the button called input, then we look for HDMI, that's HDMI, and it's really bringing DSTP showing that our, so we can see that it's loading, it means that our DSTP decoder has been read. So our DSTP decoder has been read by our TV, like it was loading and you can see that picture, it means that it has been, it has finished loading. So uh, that's all I had for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. So this is the process one can follow at home or any at workplace or any other place to connect a DSTV decoder or any other DSTV, either free to air decoder or, or a DVD. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly like, subscribe and give us your comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video.